Hey folks, David Dean Hart here with W Design. So today I'm working with the Mahoney Laser Power Probe. Just got this in today. Uh, ordered a few weeks ago uh, and uh, was happy to see it arrive so I could go ahead and test out my new tube. So what I've got in this laser is I upgraded the tube uh, or replaced the tube with a, a cloud ray and it's a CR50 and they tout that they have a 5% increase in power uh, due to the lens here and a down here somewhere due to the coatings. They indicate that you can get up to a 10% power increase uh, total. So I thought, yeah, sure. Uh, but I wanted a good 50 watt tube and uh, installed this a couple weeks ago. Got everything fine tuned. Uh, everything's hitting true. And uh, let's go ahead and run a quick power test so you guys can see how this works. So what I'm gonna go do is I went ahead and uh, put together a small shape that moves pretty slow. So I'm not having to follow the head around and it runs for 13.4 seconds. So we've got this thing running now. I'm just moving it around so we don't just burn one spot. And since the program's at 13.4 seconds, I don't have to bother with, uh, with trying to count or do a stopwatch. So we need to wait about another 25 seconds. Okay, so we're at 25 seconds. We are at about 58% power, or 58 uh, watts power here based on the results of this measurement. I have taken this test multiple times just to make sure because I really didn't believe it and I thought something was probably off. However, based on the results I've been getting out of this tube, it's been really kicking butt and uh, I'm quite pleased because it's rated to run at 19 milliamps. I've not exceeded 18 milliamps since I've had it. Uh, so, so there's the Mahoney test probe and the cloud ray 50 watt tube that uh, is definitely an overachiever. Talk to you guys later. Bye.